Node Video just added some improvements to the Shake Effect tool that can help you level up your AMV edit. And now you have additional properties to gain more control over the Shake Effect and possibly easily add a velocity effect to it. And finally, I'll also break down the new features added to Optical Flow 9.2. So you can adjust the amount to reduce the shake intensity. This way you can have a more balanced shake in your footage. Reducing the speed of the shake effect can also help you achieve a smoother shake on your footage. To fix the gap on the video edge, that's where the border comes in handy. Here you can change the type of border to fill in the gap, either by extending the video edge or by using the mirror type. The parameter options allow you to adjust and control the direction of the shake effect. As you can see the little changes I made to the parameter settings change the orientation of the shake effect. And the more option contains the property on the previous shake effect version, which you can also play around with it to get a more satisfying look. The additional effects comes along with some interesting features that you can apply based on velocity or the amount. The base on velocity automatically adds more shake to areas where there's more intense speed of movement in the footage. Meanwhile, the base on amount applies the shake based on your adjusted values and setup. You can also enable other options like blur, motion blur, luma fade, exposure, pixel sort, and glow to improve the performance of the shake effect. You can adjust their settings and intensity to get a desired result. So I'm going to enable this options and make some adjustments to their settings. And enabling the luma fade adjusts the shake intensity by itself based on the brightness or darker areas of the video. Enabling pixel sort creates an extra image that can be manipulated by adding reverse to it or not. Finally, you can enable the glow effect to increase lighting in overexposed areas of the footage. And if you're not satisfied with the glow outcome, you can manually add glow by adding an adjustment layer to specific areas you want to apply the glow effect. Next, let's dive into the optical flow property, and let's talk about the motion blur option. As always, the length is the amount of blur added to the moving subject, as well as the depth intensity. You can now choose to change the direction of the blur to either backward or forward. Turn on GPU to speed up playback during preview, but I mostly turn mine off to avoid glitches. So I'm going to turn on the preview to watch the playback and enable HD mode and remove duplicates. And the parameters give you precise control over motion sensitivity and smoothness. Sliding to ghost mode increases blur sensitivity, and sliding to the right reduces it, but might be noisy. Likewise, smoothness works opposite to motion sensitivity. This parameters also work the same way with the frame mix. And lastly, click the enable button. So if you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button, and we hope to see you next time. Peace.